I mean, you cheated on her twice. Give her the opportunity to cheat on you. Maybe once. Oh, all what we may want is money, money. Oh, money, yo. Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. Happy New Week. It's a Wednesday, bread. Happy New Week still. And by the time this video goes up, I'm sure it will be September. So happy birthday in advance to all the September points. I'm wishing you guys love, light, pure bliss, money, happiness, wealth, and everything. I look all smiley, but I left for work a bit. Not a bit sad, I was actually quite sad and happy at the same time. I'm not going to get into the sad details because I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry, I don't want to, be, I don't want to bring sadness, you know? <laughs> so I'm just going to stick to the happy part. Before I get into anything, I want to give a very big shout out to the girl who did my nails. Her name is Kelly, I think on IG she is Keltrish. Seeker, something like that you know instagram yeah but i'm going to leave her handle down below if you live in Douala, then you might want to check her out actually quite affordable and she does superb work so now on to the good news i received a gift from somebody who is very dear to my heart and i'm going to miss her shop. I received a gift from somebody who is very dear to my heart, one of my bosses. She watches my videos, so thank you very much. You know, I really like to thank you so, so much. Let me show you guys a gift. She gifted me this. <laughs> this spice jars. See, they are so pretty. See, it even matches my skin tone. Mm. She gifted me this with a wooden leaf. They are so pretty. And the fact that they come with their own um, shelf. Austin, it's actually quite nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I have spice jars, but I really needed something different. I have this, which to be fair, they are okay. If only you're putting something which is not corrosive. I don't know if saying that spices is corrosive or a spice is corrosive. I don't know if the language is so strong, but I'm just going to explain what I mean. This had white pepper in it, so it's fine. The jar is okay. The lid is still good. But this lid had salt in it. So still, this is what happened to it. So yeah, I actually needed something different. And I know that with wood, I'm not going to be faced with that issue. So thank you very, 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 very much. You don't know what you have done for me. I'm grateful. Thank you. Um, Yeah, I've shaved my hair. As everybody can see, I have shaved my hair. Please, in the name of God, I am not depressed. I am not depressed. I'm actually the opposite of depressed right now. So, but to be fair, I'm the kind of person that can shave my hair when I'm depressed. But no, I just I just shaved it because I wanted to shave my hair. It's not depression. Nothing pushed me into doing it. Because <clears throat> I cannot count the amount of people who have seen me and like, so your hair is nice it suits you but are you depressed i'm like no i'm not depressed i'm fine i'm i fine over here i'm not using my microphone so i'm trying to speak as audibly as possible i'm really hoping you guys can hear me and it's not just <laughs> anyways that's all i came to say i'm preparing my lunch gary and okra if you know me i eat oh, food. <laughs> i'm preparing my lunch so I'm just going to do that, rest a bit, and then binge watch season four of Boondocks. If you don't know what Boondocks is, I'm going to give you guys a little preview after this. For you to see, it's a cartoon. It's not advisable for kids to watch it. Not that it has sexual content or anything, but it's they they have strong language. So if you have kids and they're watching Boondocks, but yeah, I me, mean, I'm going to watch it, Sha. I'm going to watch Boondocks. And I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.
out your own frustration. That's what kids are for. Move. Hi guys, guess who is about to hit the streets? <laughs> me. So my friend invited me for her birthday. It's at Tassa restaurant, and I'm just getting ready to go for the birthday. I still have a bit of time. I usually when I do my makeup, I'm always listening to music, you know, to get in the mood. But today I've decided to chill with you guys. I've been to Tassa before, it's not my first time, and it was a really fun experience. It was good vibes, good people, the uh It was good vibes, good people. The waiter was so friendly, which was nice. The place is pretty good. So I'm going to do a little story time while I do my makeup. The last story time which I did, you guys sent me a lot of positive reviews. And yeah, I was just excited to do a mini story time. So I'm going to be doing my makeup by just seeing you guys about my words slash it was a funny date experience but it was a bad date so anyhow you like to look at it it all started back in university see all of my problems started and surely ended in uv so my friend had to go on this date with her brother's friend which i don't know maybe they kept maybe they kept it a secret because i mean no brother will allow you to go on a date with their friend so yeah she had to go on a date with her brother's friend and she told me that oh this person has seen your picture and he thinks you're very nice he'll like to go out with you so he decided sorry she decided that we should go on a double date i was like bet i don't have anything doing it was a weekend i said okay fine let's go now <laughs> immediately as i got ready right this guy who i really 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 liked came to see my friend who was my neighbor and when he saw me he was like oh Susie, you look so nice can i take you out jesus my heart was like yes 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 but i could not tell him that yes i told him that he should hold on let me eat to something so i went now and told my other friend should i give people names okay um the girl my friend i'm going to call her um, bernadette <laughs> i'm going to call her bernadette so and the guy i liked i'm going to call her mm, sorry her the guy i like i'm going the guy i liked i'm going to call him napoleon so yeah those are not their real names in case you have not figured it out so i went i called my friend and i was like well babe can we not cancel like this person napoleon is here and he says i look good i want to go out with him i mean that's the person i like I was like, he has invited me out. I want to go out. My friend was like, where is Susie? That's bad. Like, okay, imagine what I already told him. I've planned everything. Why will you come now? I am saying, no. she was like, by the way, you can always go out with him another time. Besides, is this is the only time he has seen you. Is this the first time he has seen you? Is he just discovering that you're nice? God, my heart dropped. I was like, anyhow, I went and told Napoleon that, okay, it's like that. I cannot go because i had made um other plans with my friend and i cannot cancel oh look at me being honest i used to talk trisha so now so uh, she said okay we went on the date <laughs> we met this um the guy the guy was nice was cute quite handsome the brother's friend what should i call him uh, i don't even be having i'm just going to call him a <laughs> He looked nice and charming so at least there was that part that no regret so now i sat on the table he's like you look so nice you look pretty i said thank you you don't look bad yourself you're a fine person sha he was like okay then it was time for us to order <laughs> i was going to order i said malta fish and malta he said he was going to order um castor <laughs> I was going to order Castel beer, which um, was fine. I mean, he's a guy. He said I was going to order Castel. Uh, he has ordered the Castel. The waiter had gone. Now he starts sobbing. Like, this boy starts crying. He <laughs> said, I'm, I'm like, what's wrong? We're all confused. Hey, like, what's happening? He's like, um, that's what my ex and I used to always order. She would order for Malta and fish. And I'll order for Castel. I'm like, your ex like yes I was like, ah, ah. in my head i'm like i say 
all kind of nonsense is this all kind of rubbish is this one i just met you and then you are just so being in front of me i understand heartbreak i know how painful it is but i don't expect you like on the first stage for you to come so i have to be consoling you now and tell you that it's going to be fine it's going to be okay so this is me i've told him i'm like where well, don't bother what happened do you want to talk about i was consoling this boy i was like where well, it's going to be okay everything is going to be fine and then he him and his friend the other guy they were just like women are not to be trusted you do everything for a woman you give her money you do this do that and she'll stitch it on you women are bad people and me i'm a woman and i'm there and i mean like i mean it's a date now nah, man you just come and you're talking about your ex so as they're talking i was like wait i don't trust boys i have male friends what did this boy do so i asked him i was like okay she cheated on you that's so bad i'm sorry nobody should nobody deserves to be cheated on that cheated on me before no a few months before this encounter i was like did you ever cheat on her why what what happened He's like, um, I cheated on her, but it's not the same. Uh, what can a, another person give her that I'm not giving her? And that I cheated on her, but it was just like twice. And that's all. I've not cheated on her again. So I'm like, but I mean, you cheated on her twice. Give me the opportunity to cheat on you. If he wants. <laughs> no, that's not what I say. I was like, wait. When were you cheating on her? Like, when you cheated on her, how do you think she felt? He was like, it's different that men are wired to cheat, that men are polygamous in nature, that you expect a woman to be more calm and loyal. And I was getting educated. I was like, ah, ah brother, wow. I'm like, so I had to be petty this more. I was like, so now you feel the way, now you are feel. oh God. English is finished. I have to be petty so much. So I was like, okay, so now you can feel what um what she felt. He's like that no, that women are like that. That she, he thought that she had forgiven him. I'm like, women don't forget things so they really don't forget things. This is me on my date though. Chat to you my uh with my date. He was like that a girl eh, that the girl is the girl is just a prostitute. I'm like, but you did the same thing, like make me understand. I have even done it more than um once. So I was like, okay, how did you find out that she was cheating on you? He said um that she went out whether where where with who and her number was no longer passing and she has he has been suspecting her and the boy and that the girl is saying that oh nothing happened that she left there and went home it's just that her phone went off but that the story is so fishy because she has used that line on her before i'm like see the way you are just depressed you are just the source of your own depression he was like that should he um reach out to her I was like, okay, once you reach out to her, that's fine because I just feel like there's a big misunderstanding and you guys can clear the air. It's like, yes, yeah, that okay that he will reach out to her. I said, okay, papa, fix your relationship. He's like, that but he really wants us to have, um, he really wants us to have something that he's really serious about me and that he, from his, where he's for polygamy. <laughs> <laughs> that polygamy is not a problem we're all africans that most of our parents were second second wives sorry most of our mothers were second wives so polygamy is not a problem that he still like to um he still like to date me and then maybe date her <laughs> so as we're talking he's like that he wants me to be his next girlfriend his second girlfriend i think that no i'm not interested in being your second girlfriend i'm not interested in being anybody's second girlfriend even if it's not you he's like oh it's because he does not have money now but when you have money i'll be running behind his back and besides polygamy is not a crime why in africa blah 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 that i should go and check most of our most of our mothers are second wives and they are still okay with our fathers and stuff like that that these girls i beg they they boy was just making noise at the end of the day they were just making noise i bet i started my way through that date because 
I mean, I would have wanted to go, but the thing is, I really like gist <laughs> and I'd already missed my chance of going out with the other person. So I'm like, I'll stay for the gist so we stayed there and the entire night he was just making like very demeaning um statements to us women he was just like ah ah the icing of the cake he was like if i just have a girl like you uh i'll just impregnate you so that you will not go anywhere and then keep you in the house and then maybe you can marry later i'm like what would you want to <laughs> i said why would you want to impregnate me before getting married besides who told you that i'm about that life he was like how will i know <laughs> he's like how will i know if you are fatal i'm like he's like yes how will i know that you are still fatal i have to make sure that you get pregnant first first of all i'm not interested in you secondly you are trying to make sure that i get pregnant first to know if i am fatal so please if i don't get pregnant or if you marry how do i know that you two you are not infertile I beg everything that I was just saying that night was just so annoying. But I finished consoling him about his ex girlfriend. I was my own day. That date was so horrible. I don't know why most people just think that oh, all what we may want is money, money, oh, money, yo. <laughs> but that's not. But that's not all. You will not come on a date and you're telling me how you're a cheat. You're already making your, my. You're just making me to understand it like that. You're a cheat. I understand that you are trying to be honest and you put things that oh, when you're honest, everything is going to be fine as if honesty does not have consequences. But you not just come and then you prepare my mind that I'm going to be cheated on oh god that i'm going to be cheated on and i'm going to be the second um girlfriend if there's a second there might as well be a third it really made no sense i feel like if you are going on a date then call me your a game and your a game should not be stupidity so this is the dress I'm going to take pictures and show you guys how everything looks for now. Let me get ready. Thank you for getting ready with me, the makeup. And I'm sorry for the mess that's happening behind there. That's because I'm getting ready. And I'm going to go. I'm sorry. It is what it is. But yeah, I'm going to see you guys at Tassa. And hope you guys had a great time here. Yeah. Bye. We are your friends. <laughs> I bet come and kiss me too. Come and kiss me. Oh. Hey, I want potato. I'm really happy because I don't expect anything. Did you say that?